Do you want to know how to pitch shift like this? Or maybe even like this. How about this? What's up geniuses, my name is Adriel Barra, and welcome back to the channel where you learn to show your genius. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to pitch shift in FL Studio using two different methods. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And unfortunately, YouTube is not a great way to get income, so if you wanna support me, feel free to check out my Patreon down below where you get exclusive bonuses for being a patron. But without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. So we're gonna go over two different methods of pitch shifting. First one, using the sampler, and second one, using Edison. So usually when you have your audio file, it's gonna pop up into the sampler right here. This this is just a stock vocal that FL Studio comes with. Ooh. Today this is going to be our example for pitch shifting. So the first way to pitch shift is using the sampler right here. One of the things that you could do is use this pitch knob, which I'm assuming most of you already do. Now there's some things that I want to talk about with this pitch knob and why you might not want to use it and the reason why I don't use it specifically. But if you don't know already how to use this pitch knob, literally all you do is move the pitch right or left to bring it up or down. So let's say we wanna bring this pitch up an octave. We'll bring the pitch up all the way to 1200 cents. And if we click play, you can hear how the pitch has shifted up an octave. Now, if you're listening, it sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks. This is something called chipmunking. And this is the main problem that I have with pitch shifting in the sampler. One way you can combat that is by going down to mode. And usually it'll either be on resample or stretch, but in order to get it to sound a little more natural, E3 mono is definitely the way you want to go. Now, the thing is, you can hear a little bit of artifacting. There's some weird distortion going on and it doesn't sound super natural. It sounds a lot better than the chipmunking that we had earlier, but it's still not that great of a pitch shift. So what I think the sampler is good for is pitch shifting in small amounts. Let's say we wanted to bring the pitch up only 100 cents, which by the way, 100 cents equals one semitone and one semitone is basically a half step up. So here's how the original sounds like. If we bring it up to 100 or 200 cents, it doesn't sound so bad. So super easy, super simple, great for pitch shifting in small amounts, but I would recommend you pitch shifting things that aren't vocals because this is a really simple way of pitch shifting, which is great but for me, it's not ideal. So the next thing we're going to use is Edison. In order to get Edison, what you're gonna wanna do is go to a mixer channel that's empty, click the down arrow, go to replace, and search for Edison, which is gonna be down here in the miscellaneous. Edison will pop up, and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your vocal, click, and drag. Now if we click play, we have it in Edison. Now the way to pitch shift in Edison is super simple. It takes a little bit more time. However, you're gonna get a lot better results and more flexibility when it comes to formatting. So first what we're gonna do is click this wrench, go down to time stretch slash pitch shift, and then this little window is gonna pop up right here. First thing we have is the pitch course. This is measured in semitones. So like how the sampler was measured in cents and 100 cents equals one semitone, which is a half step on a piano keyboard. Edison is just measured in straight up semitones. So that's a half step. So I guess you could say the disadvantage that Edison has against the sampler is that you can't be super precise in that pitch shifting, but most of the time you're probably only gonna be doing semitones anyway. So for most people, I think this is gonna be more than ideal. So let's bring this up to like five semitones, which you can see by looking at the top left corner up here. Boop, five semitones. If you wanna get more specific, you can use the fine pitch right here that brings it up in sense. I know I said you couldn't bring stuff up in sense and Edison, I lied, I completely missed this fine pitch part. So yes, you can do sense in Edison. Edison's better, use it. But anyway, we're gonna have it up five semitones. And if you want to fine pitch it, if you need to, feel free to use this knob. If we click preview, we can hear how that sounds like. And as you can hear, we still have that chipmunking going on. Now what we're gonna do to combat that is we're gonna be using the format preservation. Basically what this means and the way that I understand it is how much of the original tonality of the vocal is gonna be kept when pitch shifting. So if we bring it down, that means the vocal is gonna sound more like the original. If we're gonna bring it up, it's gonna sound more like a chipmunk. So if we bring this down all the way, you can have a listen to how it sounds like. Sounds a little weird, but there are some reasons why you would wanna use that. I'll show you in a little bit. But to get it to sound similar to the original pitch, you can just click this copy from pitch button and it'll adjust everything accordingly. So it sounds very similar to the original vocal. Now you can hear that there's a little bit of artifacting. What you're gonna wanna do is adjust the order down here and get it to a point that doesn't sound so artifacty. 
And as you can hear, it sounds pretty decent. Now, what are some reasons as to why you would wanna bring this all the way down, bring this all the way up? Well, if you wanna go for a specific type of sound, like how I did with my song, Let Me Drown, I'll show you a little preview of that. Basically, all I did to get that sound was I kept the pitch the same. I did not pitch shift at all, but I formatted the vocal. Basically, I didn't bring it all the way down, but I brought it a good amount down. And if you give that a listen, it's on the same pitch, but it sounds a little deeper. It's a different tonality, which can provide you with a lot of great vocal samples. This is exactly how I got that vocal effect on my vocals for Let Me Drown. And there's a bunch of different things that you can do with this, but there's also the opposite side of the spectrum where you can go up and instead of making it sound deeper, you can make it sound more higher and alien-like. And also if you were to go down five semitones, instead of bringing the factory course down, you would wanna bring it up because you always wanna have that balance in a sense. Every time the pitch goes down, the factory course will go up. Every time the pitch goes up, the factory course will go down. Perfectly balanced. This whole thing should be. If you have a listen to that. <laughs> sounds pretty decent. So let's say that this is what you wanted for your pitch shifting. All you have to do now is click accept. It will adjust it on Edison. And to get that into your song, you just click this button, which is the send to playlist as audio clip or to channel button. Click it, go to your playlist, boom. <laughs> Perfect you got your pitch shifted vocal. So these are two methods for pitch shifting. Use whatever one works in your situation. The first method using the sampler is very simple. However, it's great for minimal pitch shift amounts and the pitch shifting in SN takes a little bit more time. However, I think it's worth it to get those properly pitch shifted vocals. Like I said, if this tutorial helped you out, make sure you leave a like. If you wanna support me and the channel, feel free to check out my Patreon down below. You'll get exclusive bonuses that no other person gets. So feel free to check it out. And if you're interested in the equipment that I use for recording these videos, as well as making music, I got my Amazon affiliate links down below every time somebody purchases that equipment through my affiliate link i get a little kickback which is great help support the channel to no extra cost to you so if you want to check out all the cool stuff that i use for my music feel free to check out those links below really appreciate you guys watching it means so much to me hope this helped you out hope you start making some great music and if you want me to hear some of that music feel free to join the discord down below so you can share it with me and the rest of the community you're the best make dope music but most importantly don't be afraid to show your genius baby you call me you tell me you're lonely you know that i get you I've been so cooked up in my room quarantine